Hey, this is James with Market Heist. Uh, we're going to be interviewing uh, Jeff Wilson from uh, Stock Guy 22. Welcome, Jeff. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. Um, thanks for having me. Very welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Um, one of the things we try to do at Market Heist is bring new and um, innovative ways for people to, to trade in the market and introduce them to people who are doing it differently. So, Jeff, what I'd like you to do is to just tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm sure you had a life before you were a trader and then how you got into trading. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm typical working guy. Um, I used to work um, and, you know, part of me, part of my background is in economics. I've always had exposure to the markets. And economics working, where you, 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 were, you went to school for economics? Yeah. 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 Um, and while I was working, I was working in market research, not the market research stock market, but, the, you know, marketing research and um, a lot of quant stuff. And, you know, I, I still have, you know, my fondness for the market. So I started investing in some stocks mm -hmm. and, you know, and of course, like everybody else, um, you know, got hit during the crash. And actually, what's funny is because I actually quit my job to be a full-time trader right before the crash or in the midst of the crash. That was the late summer of 20, uh, 2008. Mm -hmm. So I had my investments. I took some profits there, but obviously I, I got hit in 09. Um, and, you know, probably a bad time to quit my job and do trading. Um, you know, from a psychological standpoint. Sure. But, you know, um, you go through it and, you know, you, you learn stuff. I was studying beforehand while I was still working, so learning options. Um, basically, I did a lot of learning about options, studying it, just because the benefits fit my style. You know, not I don't have a huge account. I don't have a huge trading account. And options allowed me to be able to um, cap, you know, use capital um, uh, efficiently more rather than going outright buying, you know, a uh, huge amount of shares in the stock. Mm -hmm. So that's, and from, and you know, uh, since then I've been venturing into, um, you know, the futures, Forex. Forex, I, I love trading just because A, um, it fits with my background in economics. Okay. So there's a lot more uh, economics um, that goes into it and that I could study about. And, and the leverage, obviously. And leverage always, you know, I, 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 I'm wary of using the word leverage like it's some great tool because it's great if you're right uh -huh. and it sucks if you're wrong. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. so, so that's that. That's, that's a brief background. And I've been um, trading full time since October of 08. All right, Jeff. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what types of trades and investing you do? I know you do a, uh, several different things. You're just not lock, locked into one style. Yeah. Um, it, 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 you know, I've learned, you know, the hard way throughout, you know, it sounds like I'm, you know, old at trading, but I, I've learned a lot from the past five, five and a half years. And it would, it would really depend, you know, in the type of market we're in. Right now, we're in straight up, you know, grind shoot up market so you know um the, the trades that i do basically um in this case would be dictated by you know either breakouts or buying to support because as long as the, the trend is intact mm -hmm. then you know i i i, I buy those buying to support or buy breakouts um if we become a little bit choppier then i utilize you know um, some complex option strategies more where I try to play the range. It, it's, you know, it, it never always works out, but you try to capitalize on the tools that you have uh, based on the type of market structure that you're seeing. So, um, like, yeah, I don't like day trading as much because it, it, for me, it, it's sometimes it's just too choppy. Yeah. Okay. But, but, but at the same time, um, you know, being a full-time trader, I, I, still need to do it just sure. for the cash flow aspect just from the cash flow aspect of it um, and you know if it's the, whether it's the ES futures or the NQ futures or you know the Russell um, it, it depends on what type of volatility I'm getting and how best I'm, um, I'm able to read it mm -hmm. just based from you know my experience I've learned that Trying to focus on maybe two or three instruments on for short-term trading is a lot better, just because you kind of know you, you 
you kind of get a feel for how it reacts to certain things, whether it's news algos and and you know how, how it reacts to say how Bernanke, you know, when Bernanke talks, mm -hmm. you kind of know, um, you get a feel for it better. Well, Jeff, I wanted to thank you very much uh, for joining us at Market Heist. Um, if folks wanted to follow you on Twitter, they could find you where? At Cerebral Trades. That's my handle. Okay, at Cerebral Trades. And then yeah. um, Stock Guy 22, the website? Yeah, StockGuy22.com. They, they offer free trials. I'm a contributor. I, you know, um, and there's um, if, if they're a futures trader, they. There's, 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 there are pretty good uh, future traders in, in there. There's me and another guy um, at Stock Darts uh, that do options, and then Frank is really good at swing trades. Yeah, I've, I've watched Frank in the past. And in fact, if the folks here watching this want to see the uh, review I did of Stock Guy 22 uh, about a year and a half ago, they can go to the archives and find it at Market Heist. Well, Jeff, it was a pleasure, and uh, I'm really got, glad I got a chance to meet you, and I will be following you on Twitter. All right, thank you. Thanks, thanks, James, uh, and um, I'm glad to have this. It, it's great. It's a good, uh, it's a good experience.